Making railings inside a wall in Revit is not such a common thing and you may even wonder if it is possible to do that or not. So making something like this is actually very simple and I'm going to show you one of the ways of how to create it in the next couple of minutes. I will firstly create a straight wall. If you look better at this one, I mean this is obviously a reveal. So if you go to the wall and to reveal, you will see that we only have the possibility to create uh, the reveal horizontal or the vertical. And then when we have it, we can just simply control the height of it. So beginning and the start in the vertical or the horizontal direction. So it means that we cannot make anything with the angles, with the slope using reveal function. Okay, so how we can then create it? Bearing in mind that we cannot do a sloped reveals we have to go the other way around and the way i'm going to do that i will simply go to the component model in place and then we'll pick a generic model we'll take sweep here and we'll create a path first i need to pick a reference plane and it's not going to be the level one i will just pick one side of the wall and then we'll put it 900 from the bottom and the top and we'll put some slope line in between we'll just trim those parts the path is done and let's make a profile and let's say that our profile will be 200 millimeters in height and 100 millimeters depth we now need a radius over here And we need this to stick out a little bit. Okay, so our profile will look like this. And it's done, but we still have no any cut inside the wall. Let's select the geometry we made and let's make this one as a void. And if nothing happens, no worry. What you have to do is just go to cut here. Then firstly select the wall and then cut this one. And you are done. <laughs> it was very simple to do let me just show you one more example it's quite similar I mean it's this one over here so I mean to create something like this is even simpler and I can just select the void we made we'll make edit sweep and we'll edit the profile just like changing the profile I was creating them of course you can load the profiles and you can play with it however you want also what you can do if you select this one and let's say that we would like to edit sweep but I would like to edit path I can just make it to start from here for example and then to end up here and what is good here that it's going to be inside a wall as you may find also a lot of examples done on this way. I really hope that those tricks are going to help you with creating your uh, voids in the walls. If you find this one useful, just please like the video and subscribe to our channels to get more tips and tricks like this one is.